Crocodile versus Anaconda Who reigns supreme among reptiles? The Anaconda is the biggest and presumably most feared snake in the world. We decided that it would be best to feature a combat between the Anaconda and the Crocodile, the most formidable animal, because it has been depicted in several movies and documentaries. The semi-aquatic snakes known as anacondas are native to tropical South America. They are renowned for their swimming prowess and are among the biggest snakes in the world. The common name for the boa genus Unix is anaconda. Greek for excellent swimmer, Unix. Anacondas are divided into four recognized species. They are the green anaconda, yellow anaconda from Paraguay, dark spotted anaconda, and Benny anaconda from Bolivia. Despite the unfavorable reputation that crocodiles and their relatives have among humans, the majority of species are very harmless and would rather avoid people than interact with them. However, the saltwater crocodile is notorious for displaying aggressive behavior toward people, in part as a result of its fierce territoriality, and is accountable for at least a few dozen human attacks annually. Size and characteristics anacondas are bulkier than other boas and have a stocky, muscular build. They have wide but massive heads and thick necks. Because their eyes and nose are located on top of their heads, anacondas can look above the water while yet spending the majority of their time submerged. Their eyes and mouth are separated by a broad black line. Scales on anacondas are small and smooth, and they get larger as they move toward the back of their bodies. Their skin is flexible and sensitive, so it can absorb a lot of water. Green anacondas can be olive, greenish-gray, or greenish-brown in color. On the mid to rear of their bodies, they feature egg-shaped black or brown patches. Anacondas can grow to be 17 feet long, 5 meters. Although some species can reach lengths of up to 36 feet, 11 meters, this is exceptional. The anaconda is the world's heaviest snake. An enormous anaconda may weigh 1,100 pounds, 500 kilograms, but its weight will typically be limited to a few hundred pounds. Anacondas can grow to a diameter of more than 12 inches, 30.5 centimeters. Males often weigh less than females. One of the most dangerous and violent crocodiles is the saltwater crocodile. Additionally, it is the biggest living reptile. In this species, there is sexual dimorphism, with the female being smaller than the male. Males weigh more than 2,200 pounds and can reach heights of up to 23 feet, 6.5 meters, 1,000 kilograms. Although exceedingly unusual, crocodiles up to 10 meters long have occasionally been found in the wild. The heads of saltwater crocodiles are enormous. From the eyes, a pair of ridges extend down the middle of the snout. It can see, hear, and breathe while almost completely submerged thanks to the placement of the eyes, ears, and nostrils on the same plane on top of the skull. The flaps on the ears, which are located behind the eyes, likewise close underwater. The hefty jaws have between 64 and 68 teeth. The upper and lower jaws teeth line up exactly with one another. In comparison to other species, the scuts, bony plates, are tiny and the scales are round. Adults have a dark skin tone with light tan or gray accents. The ventral surface is white or yellow, with stripes that are only visible on the lower sides of the body and not the belly. With dark bars, the tail is gray. Area and environment Trinidad and tropical South America, east of the Andes, south to Bolivia, and northern Paraguay are home to green anacondas. Such a huge snake, which fits well into this planet, would have a wonderful habitat in this hot, humid area with its thick vegetation. The anaconda enjoys being in or near water, and it spends a lot of time in the gloomy waters that both conceal and support its enormous size. The islands of New Guinea, Indonesia, and the northern Australian shores are where you can most frequently find Crocodilus porosus. 
It extends as far west as Sri Lanka and eastern India, along the Southeast Asian coasts and river mouths to central Vietnam, around Borneo, and into the Philippines, as well as in Palau, Vanuatu, and the Solomon Islands. Strong swimmers, saltwater crocodiles can occasionally be seen in open water very far from land. In coastal waters or close to rivers, saltwater crocodiles can live in salinity. In freshwater close to rivers and wetlands, they can also be discovered. Diet wild pigs, deer, birds, turtles, capybaras, caimans, and even jaguars are among the animals that anacondas eat. They don't hunt very actively, preferring to watch and wait when their prey swims past or approaches the water to drink. Anacondas murder their prey by coiling their powerful bodies around the animal and squeezing until the victim is unable to breathe, just like their boa relatives do. The snake can swallow its food completely because to its flexible jaws. The anaconda frequently eats in the water, where it's possible that the buoyancy helps the food get into the right position for swallowing. After a large meal, anacondas can go weeks or months without eating. Fish, animals, and birds are the main prey items for saltwater crocodiles, who prefer to hunt at night. Nothing truly has a chance against a giant male saltwater crocodile, which is capable of killing and devouring pretty much anything that enters into its domain, including sharks and humans. Even small crocodiles can take relatively large food. Anacondas live by themselves and are nocturnal in nature. Anacondas are aquatic reptiles that move quickly in the water but slowly on land. Spend the most of their life in the water, submerged for extended periods of time. Anacondas are mostly inactive during the heat of the day and begin to move when the heat is reduced after dusk. When the dry season is at its height or when they are searching for mates, they frequently travel great distances extremely quickly. A snake that lives in water, the anaconda. To live young, it gives birth. Saltwater crocodiles are thought to be extremely clever and intelligent creatures. They are known to bark and have four distinct cries, including a high-pitched distress call that young animals produce in a series of brief barks. Threat calls are hissing noises directed towards intruders. Saltwater crocodiles regulate their body temperatures through thermoregulation. They warm themselves in the sun and cool themselves in water. What do you suppose would happen if these two reptiles had to engage in combat? Since the anaconda resides in South America and the saltwater crocodile is situated in Asia and Oceania, these species would never normally come into touch. First off, the crocodile is substantially bigger and heavier than the anaconda, possibly even twice as much. Despite the fact that anacondas have eaten caimans, the crocodile is much bigger and probably too huge for the anaconda to consume. Therefore, it is doubtful that the snake would attempt to bite it in the first place, but the crocodile wouldn't hesitate for a second to consume the snake. The crocodile would still probably prevail if they were actually attempting to kill one another. It is larger than anything the anaconda hunts, and it is most likely too large for the anaconda's attack strategy to cause any significant harm. However, the crocodile's bite is more than sufficient to end the snake's life. A snake much larger than an anaconda has been observed to be killed by its lesser relative, the Nile crocodile. Therefore, the larger saltwater crocodile, which would crush the snake both literally and symbolically. The saltwater crocodile cannot be trapped using the ambush and constriction method. If both parties are reasonable grown-ups, the saltwater crocodile wins this contest. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. That is it for today.